We begin today with GOP presidential frontrunner Herman Cain, who is strongly denying charges of sexual harassment. He says he was accused of inappropriate behavior 12 years ago and that the women involved did receive money. Political correspondent Jan Crawford is in Washington with the latest on what has become a major distraction to the Cain campaign. Part of that distraction, Jan, yesterday was the changing message. Good morning. Well, that's right, Erica. He spent most of the day repeatedly trying to shoot down these allegations, but sometimes his story did change. All of this is coming just as several new polls show him solidifying his standing as the leader of the Republican pack. I have never sexually harassed anyone. I've never sexually harassed anyone. Was there any behavior on your part that you think might have been inappropriate? In my opinion, no. The accusations against Cain date back to the 1990s and were brought to light Sunday on the Politico website. The story says two women at the National Restaurant Association, a group Cain then led, complained he engaged in sexually suggestive behavior. The women eventually were paid a settlement, a claim Cain initially denied. I am unaware of any sort of settlement. I hope it wasn't for much because I didn't do anything. But later acknowledged on Fox News. And yes, that was some sort of settlement or termination, and I don't even know what the contents of that was since it was found baseless. The allegations have created a media firestorm, and Thomas Kane is rising in the polls. I told you this bullseye on my back has gotten bigger. I have no idea. We have no idea the source of this witch hunt. Others have gone further, alleging that like then Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas, Kane is the victim of a high-tech lynching. You have a high-ranking black figure who uh, dares to break away from the liberal orthodoxy, who dares to challenge the Republican elites as well. But the reporter who broke the story denies he had any agenda other than the truth. I was doing my job and reporting a story about a candidate for president of the United States who had serious allegations lodged against him. Despite the controversy swirling around him, like Kane was able to lighten the mood at his National Press Club appearance. Broadcast. I'll never know why Jesus came to love me so. Now, Cain said the story was designed to force him out of this race. He vowed that it wouldn't. His chief of staff told me that chief of staff told me that his supporters, Cain supporters, were really rallying behind him. Erica, online donations yesterday were up 75 percent. He said, but the question is how long that will last if there are more disclosures. Jan Crawford in Washington this morning. Jan, thanks.